Hey guys, this isn't actually an update, but I have a few questions for any machinists out there, anybody who's really familiar with working with the mini mills and uh, you know the mini lathes, any of the Sieg models, uh, especially the Chinese models. So I'll get out of this funny angle real quick and uh, show you around the little garage. Keep in mind my friend's walking around, so you're probably gonna hear him doing his thing. All right, so here we go. All right, so here you go, we got the tag. Sorry for the shaky camera action. And of course the TAG is a CNC model and it works great, I love it. Uh, I have a couple of questions about what to do though. As you know, we've been redesigning the, uh, the axles on the roller coaster cars and I was having problems with holding everything in the three draw chuck. Um, what I was doing now, I got a, a small adapter to hold a ER16 collet. So I'm gonna use that to hold it so I can do the, um, the threading via a die. And I have a little die arbor back here, which I'm sure you guys, of course, have seen. Uh, my question now is, uh, I was looking around. This is great, I like having a manual lathe. It's not very accurate, though. Um, I'm thinking about converting it to CNC, which I'm gonna take, of course, I'm not gonna use that lead screw anymore. I'm gonna put in um, two ball screws one for the z-axis and one for the x and what I was thinking from the different things I've seen I'm gonna probably mount the motor on the other side I don't know if that's a good option I was gonna use that so I can get some basically um, repeatability in the parts uh, but uh, I'm not too sure at the moment my other option was to do everything in the mill so cut out from a larger piece of aluminum now you might think okay that's a waste of material and I believe uh, Prior to getting this, the Tormach lathe, uh, John Grimsmo, if you follow his channel, I should put a link right here, um, he actually did his stuff on the Tormach mill, and he made his spacers out of titanium. And I, I'm thinking about doing the same thing so I could at least get everything consistent, because this is CNC controlled. Um, and from there, once the bulk of it's done, you know, it's not, it doesn't really need to be centered. Um, uh, circularly that the lathe will do but because you know it's a stationary axle the bearing itself is what you know of course is balanced but the opposite side when I need to um, thread it that's where the lathe will actually come in and I have the tailstock set up no matter what so my question is for any of you guys you know those of you who know better than me is it worth it to convert this Microlux 7x16 lathe to a CNC version, of course, I'm going to probably take off the uh, the uh, compound just because it's well not needed at that point. I'm probably going to keep, of course, the uh, quick change tool post. Uh, but you know, just put some ball screws in there and um, just see how I can get some better accuracy, more repeatability, to make it maybe a little more rigid. Um, or should I just be real simple up and for now and until I can spring for a better lathe. I know a lot of you have responded and saying don't get the Sherline because it's not very strong and that was part of the reason why I went with this Chinese model but it doesn't seem to be working too well for me I guess. So that's my question to you guys. If you guys could comment below you know by all means help help brother out I guess <laughs> as I let me find myself in focus. Very good. So yeah, you know, just uh, leave a comment. I'm, I'm curious to know what to do. I, I honestly, I'd, I'd much rather waste the money as cutting the aluminum on the lay on the mill and then putting it over in the lathe, um, holding it with the ER collets, versus spending probably three to four hundred dollars on ball screws and CNC controls and everything. But I mean, I do like CNC, and I have you know access to you know Inventor, I have HSM, I have. Fusion 360 can definitely do it as far as turning. So that is an option, but yeah, just comment below. As always, guys, um, I'll be releasing an update pretty soon. I'm gonna be doing a, a big move uh, very soon. Be moving up north to Ohio. So right now I'm down in Georgia. So it's gonna be a bit of a transition, but I'll definitely try to get some more videos up before that happens. Uh, but as always, you know, like, subscribe, uh, comment, please. Uh, I need some help on this and I'll talk to you later. Bye.